In this video, I'm going to look at the, the kit bashing of the, the terraced shops again. In the last video with, with these shops, we put in the LED lights. So as you can see, I've still got them all wired up, all bunched up so that I know um, which wires go to which and the folded back um, is the positive on each of each of the lines. So I'm going to look at the, the process that, that I go through to actually do the, the kit bashing of, of these. Um, the most important stage of this is the measurement. Um, and that's, that's what I'm going to cut, cover in this video. Um, and I'll go through what I'm doing while I'm doing it and, and show you the, the methods that I go through to actually turn this, this building, which is pretty standard and when you see lots of lots of people's videos, you can see all the all the kits are all the same. Um, I want my layout to look how I want it to look, and although I, I do like the kits, they, they do give a good a good starting point. Um, I like to make them my own, so I'm just going to go through the process of how I start making them my own in this video, and then I'll continue it in the next couple um, until we have the, this this set of terror shops. Um, looking the way that I want them to look. So first of all, you might think, well, there's a lot of measuring involved in this, but there's not really because everything you do, you can times by four or divide the amount of work you think you're going to have by four because all four sections are all the same. So whatever I measure for this, this first one, with the exception of the sign plates I'm going to do four times the sign plates I'm going to measure them once and do them twice um, the, the roof will be put on with the, the Metcalf roof um, but everything inside is going to be it's going to be my own as you can see I've put I put the curtains on um, but the glue hasn't actually stuck that one down so um, I'm just going to start, start going through it so First of all, we're going to start with the, the actual shop. And I'll just start at the side. So I've got a trusted ruler. I'm going to measure everything in millimetres here. Um, so obviously, 1 is 10, 2 is 20. Um, hopefully you can see that the measurements on the rulers as I'm going along. If you make any mistakes, put them down in the comments below and let me know that I've made a mistake. Um, I'm sure I'll come across them when when I'm um, actually on the computer and I'll say that this that just doesn't look right. I've made I've measured it wrong. Um, it's inevitable that I will make mistakes, um, but that's the whole fun of it. You know, if you if you do make a mistake, you you're not going to break anything. It's it's not critical that that everything here is is correct. So first of all, we need to know what they what these walls are. So, just get a measurement there of 50 millimetres, 5 centimetres. So, I'll just get my pencil. Um, again, use a pencil just in case I do get a mistake, but I think these rubbers aren't very good, so it might not rub out properly. So, shop side. Oops. So, shop side, we've got a width of 50 millimetres and we'll have a height um, and we're, we're, we're not measuring the outside height here because that's that's this this part we're measuring the inside height um, and the inside height is going to be easier from there which is 35 millimetres. So as you can see, we've now got all of those. So now we're going to look at the actual shop front itself and the shop front is going to have two measurements. It's going to have the measurements of the outside, 
which is sort of shop front outside which is going to be 26 or so 260 millimeters by the 35 millimeters so that's that's the full width and as we can see that that's going to fit quite nicely on one on one piece of paper so when I come to print I'll be able to print the, the fronts all in one with no joins as you can see there's, there's join joints here which will probably be covered up by drain pipes once I, I come to come to do it but then once they get down here the, the drain pipe could, could come down this side rather than obviously be across the top of the the, the sign here it, it might just come down come down there or come behind the sign uh, as I say I haven't really thought of the design yet so but we need to have the outside because that's going to cover these walls but the inside and we'll go for somewhere a bit more a bit more firm than the, the these walls are quite are quite flimsy at the moment so we know that that is actually going to be 60 so um, shop front inside is going to be 60 millimeters by our 35 millimeters and that means that whatever we put in the shop front and um, if we were to ever look around the back or look in through the through the building to our to our layout we were going to have a nice shop front that's going to match up So the only part of the shop we now have to do is again the sign. So the sign is probably going to be printed all in a, all in a one-er, um, but I want to have some detail in the middle. Um, obviously the, the shops themselves are going to be modernised and the shop fronts are going to be modernised, but even with modernised shops there's still some of the old features. So we know that again it's going to be 26 for the whole. So 13 and a half is, is uh, so because we're working in, in millimeters um, so as you can see a, 20, a 26 so it's a 13 and a half because we're working in millimeters that 13 and a half is 300 is 135 which makes it much easier for when we're actually drawing things out um, to, to do it in, in the millimetres. So it's 135 by, and it's quite a small, and I believe that that is 8 millimetres. So we've now got our, so this is, that's our sign. So now that we've, we've got that done, we can now turn our attention to the uh, flats. So as you can see, there's not as much work in that as it might have originally looked to, to actually create um, essentially a box um, is, is what, we're, what we're coming up with that, that will go inside here um, and we're coming up with a front that will go on the outside of that box. Um, but I'll, I'll show that process in the next video for this series. So the next part is um, to do our shop insides. And a lot of the measurements that we've got for the downstairs um, are going to be reflected on, on the upstairs. Not exactly, but um, you'll, you'll see some, um, some overlap with some of the sizes. So our floor of our flat is 30 millimetres by, now this is where one of the measurements should be exactly the same, which is 60 millimetres. And now the actual 
front of the building we're going to have 40 millimeters and then that's by our 60 because our, the, the width is exactly the same and similarly the the width of the the gable walls is going to be 30 millimeters now this one because we've obviously got our different sizes at the front and the back we know at the front it's going to be 40 millimeters and at the back we have to measure that one and that comes out as 65 millimeters And that will give us the shape for all of these walls. Now you can see the, the way that I've done done these lights. They're, they're done so that there's enough wire um, to take them wherever they go. So in some I might decide at the at that that, that level to bring a roof across and then just, just make that a, a sort of attic space. But again, I've not done the design, I'm not sure. Um, this wire is nice and simple to um, put up behind behind paper. As you can see, it's it's held on at the bottom by by a little bit of masking tape just to give me some strength while the building's not not put down. It's very simple to to tape to tape it up. Um, I'm just looking through all my measurements to make sure that I've got everything I need. And one measurement that I've not got is the ceiling in. And the floor for the shop they are going to be exactly the same so again I, I will have the measurements here for them but just to make sure that I, I won't miss them and won't forget them I know that my ceiling is going to be 5 50 millimeters by 60 so shop ceiling 50 millimetres by 60 millimetres. So that, that's all the measurements I need to now translate them onto my computer. So the next stage will be to transfer them on and start doing, start doing some designs and some sketches of what I would like my shops to look, look like. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, if you've got any comments or any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down, but remember to put a comment just so that I know why, why you put the thumbs down. I want to make these videos as good as I can for everyone. Thanks.